Welcome to EBI SQL e-invoice sharing. Our Malaysian budget 2024 has been announced that e-invoice become the mandatory implementations progressively from 1st of August 2024 this year and progressively to 1st of July 2025. Today, we are proudly uh, invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the official ambassadors and speakers of SQL accounting uh, software. Mr. Brian is the CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share with all of you a series of Q&A on e-invoicing so that all of you get to know more about what is e-invoicing and, and then what are the impacts to all of you. Today, the first question that we would like to ask Brian, what is e-invoicing? Well, um, to a lot of people, they have this misunderstanding. E-invoicing mainly is I email my invoice to my customer or maybe I use an accounting software so it's digital. So digital invoice is already is called e-invoicing. But this is a totally wrong concept. Okay. Under LHDN concept, e-invoice is actually you need to send your to LHDN, get the approval with certain information added inside your invoice then only you can send this e-invoice to your customer. You must remember, in the e-invoice, there are 51 fields that are required. So whatever format that you are using now, it will be totally changed under e-invoice era. So just remember, e-invoice is an invoice that you need to get approval from LHDN before you send to your customer and not the digital invoice that you're currently using. Wow, it sounds very complicated. So does it mean that every one of us need to adopt this e-invoice? To certain people, they will think that e-invoice is only applicable for businesses. But please remember, for normal people or normal rakyat, you declare your income tax. And inside income tax, there's something called pelepasan cukai, tax relief. To prove that you have purchased a certain things, you must keep the invoice or receipt. But under e-invoice era, you must keep an e-invoice as a proof of expenses. If you are working, maybe you need to do claims, okay? In e-invoice era, all the claims must be supported by an e-invoice and no longer just the receipt or invoice. So e-invoice is not only impact to businesses, but to everyone in Malaysia. As long as you are doing business, you will be impacted by the e-invoice. So with this, uh, let's stay tuned for our next video soon.